Hello, I'm Zardis. Sit back, grab some coffee, and get ready for another Modding Monday. So today we are going to talk about the Move It mod. And if you've played City Skylines, you probably know this mod. It is pretty much the same for City Skylines 2 as it was for City Skylines 1. Once you have uh, enabled it through the PDFs Mods platform, which you can find out how to do that through one of my other videos, which I believe will be linked to down below. You can come down here and it will have a move it spot down here. And again, the icon is the same as it was before. The user interface looks a little bit different, but it has a lot of the same features. So we have undo, then we can click single mode and that's what we're going to select. And that's how you can select single objects and you can move them around. It works for like buildings, it works for other stuff. Oh, and that just made that grow another building there. And look at it, if you just keep doing this, it keeps growing. <laughs> so fun. Uh, and then of course, parking lots, you can do it for anything. We've got some trees in the road now because I was playing around with move it before this, but you can move those around. You can do all kinds of stuff with that. Then you can also do marquee mode and you can select all of them and you can move them all at once. So I've got a building in there too. You could do a filter here and then say we want to do trees only, then we do plants and then we won't accidentally select those buildings, but you can get the plants around like that. Then you can get decals and things like that that you have installed with other mods or put on the ground with other mods. And there's all kinds of stuff that you can select with filters. Then we have manipulation mode, and that is when you come in and you select, say, this node. You can click on the road and then come to the node, and you should be able to move it like that. So that is this end of the road. And you can see it's connected all together to that part. And we're just moving that crosswalk because we're moving that part of the road. If you select here, then you can move kind of more of the segment itself rather than where it connects to the node. And then again, you can kind of use control, I think. Well, the hotkeys are in the um, options. We'll take a look at those in a minute too. But then you also have the toolbox here and you can move things to the terrain height and things like that. Uh, with buildings, when you move to terrain height, it actually raises the terrain. Let's go to single object. And then if we move to up and down, you can see the terrain is moving. And so right now that function, if you do to terrain height, it's not going to get it to the terrain height because the building is moving that. But eventually that should be operational and get back to the actual terrain height. For now, you can click to object height and then click another object and it matches the height for that. You can rotate at center and that will probably not work for buildings, but it would work for other things, perhaps for trees. Nope. Okay, well it would work for props. So if you've built a prop, you can get those coming down here and go into uh, potted plants, sure, or props here. Let's get a garden bench in here. We click that and then we come to move it and we select that object. We can rotate at center. Uh, that is not working either. So that that is one thing we can rotate in place. Yeah, those are not fully functional, it seems, but let's take a look at the options now. Options, we have invert rotation, which changes it from the default, which is the same as it was in City Skylines 1 to City Skylines 2, which operates a little bit differently. I'm going to keep it on the way that it is. And then you can see the hotkeys as well. We have a lot of different hotkeys that you can use. The most important ones, that I find are like M, which would open it up, uh, Control Z to undo, uh, deselect with Alt D, then move uh, objects up and down, page up and page down, and then you can also uh, Control G to terrain height or Control H to the object height. Those are the things I find really useful, but that is the Move It mod. It is simple, it is easy to use, and it is very useful. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to click on the video on the screen now. It will take you to another video that you should find useful. Take care, and I will catch you next time.